Hi, I'm Shazin Kasim, pioneer of flamenco in India. I founded the first academy, dance company and festival dedicated to this art form under the banner of Namaste Flamenco, which is my initiative to spread the art of flamenco to an Indian audience. Before we get into appreciating flamenco, I'd like to bust a few myths and clear a few questions and common doubts that often occur to um, a new potential aficionado approaching flamenco for the first time. So I'm going to go out and say it, uh, address the elephant in the room once and for all. Many people, even though they don't like to admit it, do often think and ask me this question, is it flamingo? Is it flamenco? Is there any relation? I'm happy to report that isn't, uh, not from an arts perspective. Flamenco is spelled with a C-O and is an art form that comes from the south of Spain. And we all know flamingos are pink birds. So absolutely no relation um, from a dance perspective. And I'm sure you're now in a position to correct anyone who says flamingo when they mean flamenco. Uh, moving on, flamenco is a uh, Andalusian dance form. It was developed by the gypsies um, from southern Spain. And uh, it's not from Cuba, it's not similar to Latin dance styles and doesn't come from Latin America. However, I would say it has been influenced by several world cultures, including the Indian culture, because the gypsies that developed it were nomadic uh, people that traveled across several countries before they settled in southern Spain. Um, also, flamenco is a solo dance form. Unlike salsa or social partner dance forms, you don't need um, a partner to dance it. You just need yourself. Uh, so there is no concept of lead and follow between two people. However, I would say there is a fair amount of lead and follow and open communication between a dancer and um, their musicians. Uh, so flamenco is typically, typically performed to live music in Spain and uh, dances in the, the dancer is often in the foreground and musicians back that dancer uh, behind. So there's lots of uh, high degree of improvisation if you will and that could be the closest thing that would come to lead and follow in flamenco. Uh, flamenco is also not gender specific. It is danced equally by both men and women. In fact, there is no age to start flamenco and there's also no body type that is a prerequisite like classical ballet uh, that you need for flamenco. So it's a pretty accepting, uh, embracing dance form uh, open to anybody who wishes to try it. Moving on. The three pillars of flamenco are cante, which means singing or vocals, toque, which means playing of flamenco guitar, and baile, which is the element of dance. So when you have these three elements come together or combine, that's when you essentially get flamenco. So when you go to a flamenco performance, one would expect to see, um, firstly, a very small wooden stage or platform. You don't need that much space to dance flamenco. And a solo dancer dancing in the foreground, and musicians backing them in the background. And you could have as few as three or four artists on stage uh, in flamenco. So it's a pretty small band or setup. And you could have even fewer musicians or artists on stage if they could multitask, like sing and play the guitar at the same time. Now another element that you would see during a flamenco performance is a rhythmic clapping or accompaniment uh, to aid a dancer or, or the musicians. And this is called palmas, which is palm percussion, and it's just a, a way to maintain the tempo and accentuate certain important accents uh, within the rhythm of the style being performed by the dancer. And there are several, several styles um, within flamenco which could be seen as a larger umbrella with several sub-styles built into it. So now that we've got that out of the way, uh, let's dive in further into flamenco. 
Flamenco is a highly expressive, high impact, powerful dance form uh, that embodies strength and it's one of those dance forms where you have to really go inside and bring out your self-expression. You can't just go through the actions and do the steps mechanically, it doesn't work. You have to kind of share, share yourself and there is a kind of very powerful vulnerability and strength that comes across in doing that. It's extremely liberating and I, I suspect that's why it's very appealing to, to a lot of people. Um, also, it is a dance form that uh, encourages you actually to be true to how you feel in that moment. So there's a hundred percent emotion, a hundred percent self-expression, and I think because of this, uh, flamenco is one of those dance forms that often gives you goosebumps and evokes a kind of reaction, a very strong reaction from the audience. Flamenco is one of those art forms where your taste uh, will evolve with time and your personal journey and explorations will be very unique and possibly take you to different dimensions that you may not be able to imagine or anticipate right now. But the easiest way to connect with this art form is through its music uh, because it's one of the quickest doors you can open to instantly connect with flamenco. And in light of that, I'd like to take a moment to give you some recommendations of musicians that you can listen to right away uh, with internet, uh, say on YouTube or Spotify, Apple Music or any music engine or platform, um, and this is immediately. So let's start with the traditional, make our way through the contemporary and end with pop flamenco music because this is a very, very vast musical genre. Uh, I'd like to recommend guitarists like Paco de Lucia and Vicente Amigo, um, singers like Cameron de la Isla, Nina Pastori, Estrella Morente, and as we make our way to the very, very pop and um, nuevo flamenco, uh, I'd like to mention a band called Chambao and even an upcoming young singer called Rosalia, who has taken several nuances of flamenco and uh, adapted it to her contemporary expression of this, uh, this sort of music. So that's all for now. Uh, I hope this has been educational and accessible at the same time uh, with some fun musical takeaways. I'm Shazin Kasim from Namaste Flamenco and this is Avid Online. Thank you so much for tuning in.